So we're going to do a uh, Gen 3 case needle bearings, the ones that are way down in there. All right. People ask me how to do these. All right. So on a Gen 3, you flip the unit over, you'll see these two little holes down in there. So what you want to do is you want to tap those. Uh, I myself use a 5 16 by 24 thread. Um, and then you make yourself a bolt. I probably made this 20 years ago uh, with a vise and my cordless drill. Uh, drill a hole all the way through the bolt and then you uh, re-drill the top, tap it accordingly and put you a grease zerk in. And that's your tool. Um, I don't have any Teflon tape. I usually put that on the threads. Uh, I'll tell you why here after a while. But uh, yeah, so basically all you do is screw that down inside you can either screw on the bolt or the zerk whatever so I go down until it touches all right then you get you a grease gun it's a huge waste of grease but it works we're gonna try to do this and hold the phone here so what, what you do is you just start pumping. So the reason why you put tape or pipe dope around that bolt is you'll start seeing the grease come up around it like that. So what you want to do, let's see if we can do that one. So we're going to be doing this uh, right one over here. So once you get enough pressure in there, going to force its way out like that and you just keep pumping and there you go and then you just reach on up in there and there's your bearing pretty neat huh you got that full grease and you got a huge freaking mess up in here but that's how you do it. Been doing it for years like that, works great. Now on a fifth gen, back there where you're gonna see those needle bearings, you'll actually see the two humps where the bearings are gonna be, but there's no holes drilled for them, so you can't do this unless you wanna take the chance and drill holes in the case and thread it and, and try this method. I myself don't. What I use is a blind bearing hole tool. I'll show you what that looks like. So basically, these will screw down inside of the bearing. You'll screw that down in there like so. And then as you uh, run this up, it's going to expand those little fingers out. They're going to swell open, grab a hold of that bearing. And then in the back, it's threaded. And then you get this slide hammer, screw it into the back of the fitting, and just go... You know about four or five maybe six hits drives the bearing out as you can tell i've used that 17 millimeter quite a bit to kind of choose them up but that set you know very handy to have but rarely do you use it so yeah that's how you do a fifth gen too but this is how you do a third gen thank you and good luck and enjoy